Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Everyday EDC. My name is Tyler, and you might be saying, I've seen this knife before. Come on, man, get some new content. Well, we're going to be doing something completely different today. I'm going to be adding a finger choil to this knife. Uh, I sold it, and the guy I sold it to was so cool that he wanted me to put some spin on mods that I do. And he was perfectly cool with me doing whatever I choose, which is a scary thought for him, fun thought for me. So, kudos to him. Secondly, I've always wanted to know what this would be like with the finger choil. So, we're going to get to find out today. What I'm going to need is I'm going to need to take it apart, a clamp to hold the uh, blade in place, some grinding wheels, different tools, a chuck. I have a Dremel tool and a cup of water to dip my blade in so it does not get too hot. And uh, away we go. The rest of the video will be fast forwarded. I will talk over it. Thank you guys again so much for watching and checking this out. If you guys have any tips, I'm figuring this out as I go. So if you guys are professionals, please leave some tips. If, you, if this helps anybody, let me know. Also know that I am not a professional. I just like to fidget with my stuff.
right, so the, for this part of it, I'm going to talk and kind of explain some things. So, as you can see, the blade was super black before this, right? And I took some of that off. Part of that was, as I screwed up here, I, I damaged the blade right there. It's kicked up. I need to get better with that Dremel. And it kicked up, rode along the edge, which is fine. I'm going to correct the edge. But it cut into the coating. So I tried to first stonewash it, and that didn't work. But then... I took some sandpaper and took some of the black coating off so it gives it this like washed look, which actually looks pretty sweet. I, I, I actually really like it. So the, so the knife looks like this. Oop, let's see if we can tone that light down. So the knife looks like this. It looks like a de-stressed DLC coating. It's not a terrible scratch, but it's annoying. I can't believe I did it. And then I did the same thing with the titanium pocket clip just to kind of make it match the blade. But as you can see, I put a forward finger choil in this. And oh my god, I was right. This thing feels great with the forward finger choil. And you just want to slide up and bam, you're good to go. So, it's the perfect size finger choil. It's not too big, not too small. I didn't do a great job. I obviously kicked up a little bit. But we're going to fix this edge and I'll show it. I'm probably not going to record it tonight. I'm probably going to sharpen it tomorrow, but then we'll show it. And in, actually, in the sharpening, I may take this out slightly, this recurve, and I may keep it, because A, it's going to be easier to sharpen, but B, I don't think, I don't know, I, I just feel like taking a little bit of this belly off might make it look a little bit better. Since we're modding knives, why not? I just got to be careful when I do it, so... I'm going to focus a little bit heavy, more heavily on that, trying to get that to meet up to here. And that'll be tomorrow's project as I go through. But this is what we got so far. This is the forward finger choil. If I was going to keep my other concept cryo forever, which I may or may not, I haven't decided yet, um, I might do that with the S35 and titanium version one, just because, guys, this with the cryo, they should have put this finger choil in there. This feels awesome. So I knocked down some of the edges here. I probably got to do a better job. That feels a little sharp on those edges. But other than that, this is our, this is up to this point. The reason I didn't record it all is it became a little bit difficult. I, I once I scratched it and I, I got the finger toil in there. I tried to do a stone wash. I ended up throwing it in the dryer with with some stones, and had that go through. And the stone wash actually took really well on the DLC coating. Believe it or not, it had these micro little looks on it that looked great. But I just didn't I didn't like that scratch. So I ended up taking some sandpaper and, like I said, trying to tone it down. And it toned it down a little bit only because the rest of it kind of shines so it doesn't pop as much. But once I sharpen this, and I'm going to try to put as best of a mirror edge on this as possible without spending five freaking hours sharpening it, 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 it hopefully will go away. Especially right here. I'm going to put a little bit of emphasis right there to take this bevel back just a little bit and try to hide some of that damage that we did. But this is what we got so far. This is the concept cryo. All right. Until tomorrow, boys.